What's up guys, this is what we do on a Friday night. So you can probably already tell from the title, this is gonna be part two of the supercharger rebuild. So we have this Vortec. If you guys haven't seen the last video, we had a failure and we got the parts. This man got the parts. <laughs> so he's got all the parts and he actually put this on and then uh, he came over to maybe hopefully finish it. So this is a new disc. If you guys remember the other thing that looked like a fried egg on a nail, that was that melted. So we got one of those on there and then he put the bearing on and the way you said you did it was you heated up the bearing heated up the bearing, and you put this in the freezer. I'll put this in the freezer and the bearing slid right on. So that's how he did it without the press. So he just had to sit this disc on and then like I said, bearing in a frying pan, you said, right? Bearing in a frying pan. Yeah. No oil, of course. You just heat the bearing up to about 200 degrees, have this in the freezer. Once that bearing gets hot, it just slides right onto the shaft. So it sounds pretty, pretty easy. And then uh, the only problem we were having was with the actual case going on. So with, uh, with us kind of prying and stuff and getting that bearing out, I just cleaned up the surface with uh, a little bit of just fine grit sandpaper just to clean up the surfaces so that we can get this back on because it wasn't sitting down nicely. So cleaned it up, did a test fit and we're good. So now we're gonna put it back together. So hopefully uh, we should be good. We just gotta put these seals or these uh, spring washers like that back on there. Did it jam up like when you got it all the way to the bottom or even just starting to get it down it started jamming? It jammed up after I tightened it down. Oh, okay. It was still turning once it got closed all the way. So we'll jiggle it to get these bearings on. I see you were. You made more progress than you did. So right now we're all the way down, but those spring washers are what's holding us up a little bit. So we'll put the screws in and hopefully everything still turns freely. And we're removing a washer, see so it's not turning. Yeah. That may be what it is then. Mm, there's oil coming through though. Is it? Yeah. Puking up out of here. That's real wet. Right. You want to take that off? Yep. Which way is that thread? All right, little update for you guys. So we ended up taking off the compressor housing because hmm, what's going on? We got a little bit of oil <laughs> coming through from behind our compressor wheel. So I don't know if somehow this man did the damage. <laughs> no, I don't know if somehow the seal got pushed out when we we're uh you know trying to put it on the actual other side the gearbox side because for some reason it's puking out oil on the other side so we ended up changing the stuff that we showed you guys but we're still having maybe an issue he's gonna leave it upside down or you know the compressor wheel facing down so we'll see what happens he's gonna leave it overnight uh, with the compressor wheel facing down and see if it's gonna leak and if it doesn't, he's going to just put the compressor housing back on and I'll update you guys how it's working. But uh, that's going to be it for today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else, let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you on the next video.